Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick as I'm here at Satan Bear Arena giving you a recap of the Royals' great 5-2 win for the three stars of the night were Pat Nagel, Mike Crocott, and also Joshua Winkris, who proves, just like Kirk McDonald said to me in the postgame pressure, that he is a top-line player in this league. And youngster Cam Strong coming in, playing in, I believe it's his rookie season, if my memory serves me right, playing very well, getting a net front crash and goal there. And that was the assist that Crocock was able to get as he played a stellar night, getting himself his first career goal, plus an assist tonight. And then Joshua Winquist just keeps as hot as a firecracker play going as he was able to collect an assist tonight, plus have that beautiful sniper. Because he is a guy, even though he's known as a pass first guy, has a beautiful shot. He scored a lot in the juniors before, and when you watch his shot, you saw it on that power play goal. He has a brilliant shot and a brilliant release. And then we had Frank Tachara be able to get one in front of the net. And then we also had, of course, Brad Lowe, who plays a very good clean overall game. Didn't play as good Wednesday, which I agree with Kirk McDonald at an off game then. But that's the, like Kirk McDonald said in the post game pressure, that's the beauty and the sight line and the way you know that someone's a great player in this league is the bounce back ability. And he played a hell of a game tonight. Look good on the ice, was able to battle for that goal in front, and he just does a little thing, stopping players entering the zone well, um, being able to play good on the forecheck, like being able to play good in the net front, being able to play along the boards. He's one of those players you love to have on your team. Now, when it comes to the goaltender, Pat Nagel, he's played 12 games, I believe it was last year, for Grand Rapids, um, and he's now played eight already this season. He's exactly what Kirk McDonald called him tonight, high praise from the coach one of the ECHL's best all-time goaltenders, so it's not surprising he came in, had success, and was able to really capture this game um, in terms of himself, too. Now, the Royals played a very good overall game, so Nagel didn't have to be as ridiculous as he's had to be in pass game, but in the third period, he was amazing. He was electric. He was ecstatic. He was ridiculous because, like Kirk McDonald said in the postgame press, when you're up 4-1, to one, sometimes you have a little bit of a tired third and they did during periods of the third period. The Royals, but Pat Nagel, the man on a mission, Pat Nagel, was so calm, cool, collected in that. When you watch him, you can tell he's a veteran. He's a guy that just looks so composed and looks so poised and doesn't really let anything phase him. Like, for example, that bad goal we gave up on Wednesday. Kirk McDonald told me he was out here passing pucks as a goaltender to be able to kind of correct that and learn and grow. I mean, that's a great thing to see. Um, you're able to pass pucks and have a very, very good success rate because Pat Nagel really helps out the defense and does a good job with that. So he's a guy that has the work ethic of literally a Iron Man guy in net, and he's a guy that's going to keep playing a lot of games now that we have Boosty up with the Phantom, due to who had his first game tonight, was a rough outing for him, but the Phantoms also played piss poor with a lot of key players out against the Providence Bruins, but he did. It. he's going to bounce back just like the have seen him do at times when he's had an off game for Reading. That's how he's built. But when it comes to Pat Nagel now, this is his net, and it's a guy that has ample experience and a guy that's showing that ample experience, stepping in and playing like an absolute force out here. So, again, he is the third star of the game. Mike Crocock would be the second star of the game with a goal and an assist, and then I will have to call Joshua Winkless again the first star of the game because he just plays a great, clean overall game and plays great overall. This is the best win as far as I'm concerned of the season for the Reading Royals thus far. They were able to get a 5-2 win, play a better complete game in this game as well. Because when you get up, it's the way of it's the way of a sport. When you're up by a bit in the third period, sometimes you do have that little lapse time, and then you have Raid Low answer right back and get the goal, and that just settles it down again. Nagel makes the huge save when he needs to. He's one of the best goaltenders, if not the best goaltender in this league. So you have a guy that you know you can always count on and rely on each night. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant night. This has been a reaction from Satander Arena for the Reading Royals beating the Norfolk Admirals 5-2, a wonderful win by the Reading Royals. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.